We are fun boxing, gonna open up some toys. We are fun boxing, gonna make a whole lot of noise. Fun boxing transformers, fun boxing GI Joes, fun boxing Motu Origins from your head down to your toes. We are fun boxing. Let's go, Bob Squad. Hey, what's going on, Bob? Hang on. Hey, what's going on, Bob Squad? It's me, Bob. What do you say? What do you know? How's it hanging? Tip the veal and try the waitress some weather we are having. What is happening right now? I will tell you what is happening right now. We got a monster. And I mean monster fun boxing going on right now. We got a gift from a good friend and a member of the Bob Squad, Gojitron who has uh, generously sent a gift through the UPS uh, uh, packaging system. It's like a privatized mail type of thing. I don't know if you understand. And he was so patient as to actually change the arrival date for me because I was going to be out of town and uh, it potentially ruined the surprise, but I was afraid of not only the package getting stolen, but people figuring out I'm not home and then sneaking into my home and stealing my, my Robocop, among other valuables. So... I appreciate the uh, the accommodations, but uh, I cut this open already, but I didn't look inside. My address is blacked out, so you don't show up outside my apartment. Just staring at me, with a pair of binoculars, you, you filthy barbarians, every last one of you. And there's a note. There is a note. I don't know if I can read this out loud. Okay, I think I think this looks pretty safe. Hey, Bob. That's me. I'm Bob. I'm Bob Hanson. Just wanted to say thanks for all the laughs you bring with your Son Bob films, Fun Boxing, and H-P-O-T-R. That's hardest part of the ring. It's a wrestling podcast. It's very entertaining. Your videos always put a smile on my face. Here's some stuff that I hope you can use in future Son Bob productions. I'm sure I will. Or just have fun with it. I included assembly instructions for the big thing. Take care and keep laughing. Carl, parent beginning parenthesis, Goji, and parenthesis. Goji, thank you so much, man. Um, as much fun as I have, I do, uh, I do seriously appreciate these. And all of the heartfelt messages that come to me from you guys are brought to you by Pepsi Zero Sugar Wild Cherry. With Pepsi Wild Sh uh, Cherry Sugar, what you want to do right now, and anyone watching this fun boxing can do this, you don't even have to send a package to be able to do this. You go to pepsicola.com backslash wild cherry zero, enter the promo code Bob Squad. nothing happens. It's a complete waste of your time, so don't even do that. Thank you very much, my man. You don't have to do this. I'm. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on in here. Uh, there's some bubble wrap. I don't think that's part of the fun thing. Oh, sweet mother of pearl. I don't know what you have done, but I, I am most grateful. Oh, wow. This is a final faction. Uh, this is a toy line that I think Goji made famous. Uh, uh, a drone scourge. Oh, that looks pretty cool. It uh, looks like some accessories and a kind of an evil drone, uh, alien type looking thing. Um, we're going to have fun with it. Oh, three and up. Three and up. Okay. There you go. And Karn. There you go. Karn, if you don't know, was the villain in the second Star Trek movie. It was the Wrath of Karn. A lot of people do not know that. Okay. Uh, let's see what's... <laughs> Pardon me. I LOL'd. I LOL'd because this is uh, two beloved Godzilla characters. Um, of course, Mecha Godzilla will discuss. Wow. Ah, oh, this is cool. This is a more stylized, I guess, after the. Uh, I can actually, honestly, I can't tell if it's the 60s or 90s, but this is a very cool Mecha Godzilla with some articulation and whatnot. He's a little more upright than Godzilla would be, but he's a robot. Of course, he would be. And a Jet Jaguar statue. For those of you who don't know, Terror of Mechagodzilla is a hilarious, and I think the second of the last, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, series of, uh, of the original Godzilla series. Don't, don't ask me what, what, what the fans, what the name of the era is after the guy who wrote them, or I, I couldn't tell you. Um, I'm sure Goji knows. 
And my friend Luke out here, out there with the Earth Destructive Directive podcast, is a great kaiju podcast. Goji, I got to send you a link to that. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link in the gimmick there. Um, that is wild. <laughs> that is wild because he is such a hilarious character in a series that does not get enough love. And uh, <laughs> Mecha Godzilla is something else. He is. Th this is a treat. This is a treat. I need to move over my Pepsi Zero here. Oh goodness, so much stuff. What have you done? What have you done? Um, there's a lot of Final Fantasy going on. Okay, cool. We could have a lot of fun with these. Uh, this is Alpha Man. Alpha Man. Okay. He's like the first man uh, ever. And this is um, Riptide. Riptide. Uh, he was famous for uh, in his role in Final Faction. He was the uh, military specialist on the good guy team who ate the most Tide Pods. That's why they call him Riptide. A lot of people do not know that. And this is, uh, oh, we got a weapons pack. Heavy arms. Heavy arms. Uh, for the alpha team, so I'm gonna re I'm, I'm gonna read all these uh, all these descriptions in here in the year 2050. Okay, so I'm gonna catch up on my final faction lore. I hope you guys can hear me all right. Can you hear the the hum of the fridge? This looks like a bad guy a monster of some kind. Oh, this is Karn. Oh, okay, so this is this is the Wrath of Karn uh, from from Star Trek. Okay. Oh, it looks like General Diabol. Maybe Karn is the name of the group. They started after. Uh, they worshipped him for killing Spock and formed the group. So, a cool looking monster, and he's especially compatible with those four inch guys. Kind of reminds me of when they first tried to make Serpentor, I think in episode four of the five series, and it was, it was a blob because the commander put the vial in it. Do you understand? I don't have time. I don't have time anymore, Bob. Bob, you're wasting time. You're wasting valuable time. Oh my goodness. There's some final factions going on here. Oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Steadfast. Steadfast because he makes a big steady breakfast for everyone. That's why he's steadfast. That's what we learn about that gentleman. And uh, oh, cool weapons pack, covert ops. There you go. Those are the covert ops. And Amari. Okay, that is Amari. She has a mohawk. That is her character. Her character is she has a mohawk. A lot of people uh, do know that because that's right on the package, and you can literally see the figure. These are so cool and charming and just uh, fun. Okay. Um, what's going on here? Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. This looks like a... I'm going to read it. An Arrow ATV. It's a cool little vehicle in a Final Faction uh, series here. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. Like, um, reminiscent of the Oz Striker. It's got the dune buggy thing. Looks like it's seat. I'm coughing up Tostito chips. I apologize. Looks like you can seat a, a person, a lady. It has to be a lady. I, I don't know. That. And, uh, and two other people who are shooting weapons. You can murder people with it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I apologize, guys. I sincerely apologize. I have to see something here on uh, the package. Oh, come on. Come on. You're going to leave me hanging? I'm on camera here. Made in China. It's made in China. They're all made in China. Okay. It's Mecha Godzilla. Well, he's made in Japan. You saw the films. Okay. Why waste your time? And this looks like another uh, AT or weapons for the ATV. Okay, it's weapons and armor uh, for the ATV. Oh, that's cool. You can all give them some protection so they don't just run into the run into the muck uh, all exposed. Like an extenuation, extension of the vehicle. You don't, you don't have to get it to enjoy the vehicle. That is cool. Um, there's a hose connected. Something's going on there. I'm not sure what's going on here. But something large is at the bottom. But I do want to... Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious, Goji. What'd you do? What did you do? Oh, this is the, oh, this is the lady on a package of the, uh, the Arrow ATV thingy here. She is... Uh, what is her name? Shift 1, apparently, sh oh, Shift, just Shift. Shift is her name because uh, she works 9 to 5. At 5 o'clock, she quits being a good guy and goes home and watches The Office. And Jim stares at the camera in The Office and just smirks at you for no reason. It's charming once. Why did you do that, Bob? Okay, let's yeah, see what's going on. There's some instructions on something at the bottom. Uh, what else we got here? 
I just want to make sure I'm saving this what, what I'm gonna what I assume is the main event for last. And it looks like we have Final Faction picking it up. Air Assault, some more weapons doing something crazy. And I love this guy already. Churro seems to be a, a guard dog with armor of some kind, and he is uh, he is charming already. Like a, I don't know if he's a dog or a robot dog or a, some kind of cyborg dog, but I'll find out. I'm at the age now where I have to put on my glasses and look underneath them to read things, if you didn't notice that. Eh. Steadfast, loyal canine companion. Okay, so he's got armor on him. And he is the, uh, the companion of the guy who makes the breakfast. That's why he's churro, okay? Because breakfast burrito is a silly name for a dog. Okay, okay. okay what's going on here? So, it looks like there's instructions for something. Something large and in charge. Oh, this is going to be difficult. I can't see things, guys. Okay, well, I'm going to figure it out. It doesn't say what, uh, what the gimmick is, because it looks like we have a, a, a blue platform of some kind. This looks familiar. Where have I seen this thing? I have a hunch, but it's got some gadgets and some rock or cave-like uh, things going on. That looks very sewer-ish, so I'm very interested to see what this is going to end up being. I don't, I don't completely recognize it. I don't. I love. Thank you for the free bubble wrap. Um, huh? There's some parts. Oh goodness gracious! I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. I think these are parts. I believe this is a relatively new Batcave toy. Because, yeah, yeah, and that would be your money maker right there. Oh, wow. Oh, this is very cool. Thank you so much, man. This is, uh... This is wild. And I... Oh, something, something glows? Something glows. There's a computer. It's a computing device. You can play Minesweeper and find bad guys on it. Um, it would not be a Batman uh, setting at all if he didn't have like 15 monitors that all show the same thing. I don't know why he needs those. There are 18 pictures of a joke. It's the same picture. I don't know what he does with it. But um, I think he slightly alters one of them just to color a little bit and says they're different pictures like Amber Heard. Bob, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, man. Oh, wow. God damn it, man, you got me a back cave. Uh, <laughs> this is so wild and so helpful for a lot of Sun Bob things. I think you're going to see parts of this in scenes where it's just needed because I need city, I need computers, I need streets. A working jail. You guys have seen how badly I make my jails, okay? <laughs> what did I drop? Everything? Oh no. Okay, well, that, that was going to happen. There was a telephone pole. Um, that's just for communication purposes. It's, you know, uh, a dumpster of some kind that dumps things. I'm sorry, guys. Um, just to give you a look at the street. And some kind of, uh, I haven't looked at this online in a while, but I have played around. Some doors breaking. And some kind of a, a working. Oh my god, that is, this is so precious. You have no idea. You have no idea. And there are, it looks like there seems to be a bunch of parts. Um, I'm just going to put those in there for the, for the time being, just because I'm out of space. And it goes on top somehow, like so. And you can do the math. So this is very sewerish and whatnot. And I do have four other friends who do go in and out of the sewers sometimes as well. So that's helpful. Um, Goji, my man, this is truly, this is truly above and beyond. I don't want to leave that in there for too long. <coughs> Pardon me. This is uh, this is truly the oven beyond and uh, not necessary, but a thousand percent appreciated. So I, I thank you so much, my man. There are not enough words. Uh, the final faction and uh, the Godzilla favorites and this Bat Cave are. Uh, and uh, this Pepsi Wild Cherry Zero. That was mine. I had this already. Actually, you didn't send That's okay. That's okay. But I do recommend it because it's the same great taste 
of wild cherry Pepsi with none of the sugar and none of the calories. So that's uh, that's really all I all I can offer. Um, okay, I think this thing goes on this. It's like a three-story thing. I don't want to just build it in front of you. That's boring to watch me do. But um, I'm gonna play with it all night long. I've been saying that since I was 13. <laughs> Seriously, Goji and, and all members of the Bob Squad. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go do what Bob does. You guys are the bee's knees, you're the cat's meow. Have a good night, everybody.